Still out here, huh? I have a responsibility to my PTV viewers, Brian. And nothing says must-see TV like a five-day, non-stop Mr. Belvedere marathon. Gotta say, I never really cared for that show. Put out kind of a weird vibe. Shh, shh, shh. I think this is the one where Mr. Belvedere sits on his own nuts. And there's the weird vibe. This is a day to remember, Rupert. My mind control device is complete. As soon as I broadcast my commands over the Fat Man's satellite dish, I shall be the most powerful dictator since Dick Cheney. Uh, why the devil are you dressed like that? No, no, I, I, I'm, I'm not criticizing. I just, I just don't understand your need to prance around like a scoutmaster on Labor Day weekend. What the hell is going on out there? Bertram, did your mothers stop cleaning their carpets long enough to let you out of the house? That was a jab at their sexuality. I'm here for one thing, and one thing only, Stuart. Your satellite dish. Oh, marvelous. I see you stopped touching yourself long enough to learn how to play this thing. Well, let's get on with it. Too high for you? Try hitting the jump button again when you're at the top of the first jump, genius. My boyfriend, Prince William, got me this beautiful watch. I'm not a boy! Oh god, this is so embarrassing! I must find enough power-ups to charge my ray gun. And then, Bertram, as First Lady of the American stage Helen Hayes once said, I'm going to kill you! Raygun just needs one more part. Let's check outside. Just try not to step in Brian's butt chocolate. This is TV 
David Griffin with PTV, giving you the Mr. Belvedere Marathon. 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. All Belvedere, all the time. I'll need to get that door unlocked. Perhaps I shall use this mind control ray to force Lewis to do it. I must find a way to reach the roof in order to confront Bertram, and then perhaps work on a sweet tan. I knew you're new at this, but how about targeting our enemies with the lock-on feature? It's there for a reason. Down, you can achieve a greater release. Got it? Curse that helicopter! Have to go all black hawk down on it. Destroy the remote and its owner. Oh God, my lawn! That's not what I meant by a bush cut. Damn it! My taco's ready. Except for what I got. Excellent. One of my sky hooks. Good thing my bribes at City Hall paid off. Hey, don't forget to put in these hooks. Why? Because some infant gave me a hundred bucks. Ah, it's one of those cutaways like you see on television. However, this is a video game, so they are interactive. Succeed, and I'll get more power-ups for my ray gun. Quite a gap. Time to use my glide apparatus. So fast, Bertram. I'd rather the dish be destroyed than have it fall into your hands. Hey, keep it down up there. If that's Meg or some kind of squirrel, I'm gonna get my shotgun. Fool! I tricked you into destroying your own satellite dish. Now I can proceed unimpeded with my own plan for world domination. Where does he get those wonderful toys? Goodbye, Stewart! Okay, some kind of squirrel or Meg, stop interrupting my program. Ada! Oh my god! Brian, call an ambulance! I'll go get my purse! Ugh, this looks like an Iraqi trailer park. Bertram's obviously been planning this attack for some time. But what's his master plan? I must find out. Therefore, I have no choice but to shrink myself down and infiltrate his lair within the fat man's testicles. Gross. Thank you. 
You know, I have to come out to this hospital so often, they should name it after me. Ooh, death is here. I better get to the fat man before he does. We have a cold brown. Baby with a ray gun. Help! All right, you medical faggot. This is the big one. Time to earn our pay. This is fun and all, but the sooner I shoot myself down into the fat man, the sooner I can thwart Bertrand's plans. Up! Uh, move! Move! As long as the nurse calls, you deploy! I'll silence that party behind the counter. Perhaps if I jump and then shoot? You will put that baby down for a... Victory is mine! If I destroy that red junction box, these laser walls will disappear. So there's that. My ray gun blasts ricochet off these walls at useful angles. I bet you weren't sniffing glue during geometry class, Gable. Enemy sighted! This is not a drill! Them. I'm melting! <laughs> oh man! Uh, hello? I'm like, aren't you guys dead yet? I've got a schedule to keep. No, oh, I want to go for a walk! Oh gosh, sorry! I didn't know. I'll try to hurry my demise along. <laughs> Water and electricity. A wonderful combination when thinking about Lewis, but here and now it may impede my progress. Dr. Smith for the ICU, Dr. Smith, never mind.
While normally I would be overjoyed at causing this much destruction, I have more pressing matters. in the nurse's shower. Security to the nurse's shower, please. Victory is mine! I need a condenser from an electron microscope and a coil from an MRI machine. And then, you know, whenever it's convenient, I'm kind of in the mood for a pedo bar. You shot me! is all the way at the top. Cursed Koreans and their slipshod ergonomics. Security, there is a man in a red and yellow floral shirt stuck in the nurse's shower. Security to the nurse's shower, please. Now this is what I'm talking about, me on the big screen. Oh yeah, baby, I'm looking good. out that shrew. Perhaps I should find a way to use the preggers.
craving for explosives, and my boyfriend works at the armory, so... Okay, okay, let's make some barricades, whatever it is, The doctor said there might it. be explosive complications. I wonder what that means. Now my ray gun does more damage. Soon birth from your oven shall come. Attention is needed. Stop. Dr. Miller, Dr. Rubin, your patients are saddled up in gynecology. Dr. Miller, Dr. Rubin to gynecology. The grid is more complex. I must direct my raygun blasts more accurately. MRI machine! Hmm, it's in use. I shall have to find the power switch. A stray blast could destroy the equipment. I must use mind control. Ah, what the deuce? It's that pervert from next door. What is he doing here? Oh my god, female x-rays! Ah, hey, anyone have a towel? <laughs> Are you the head nurse? Ugh! Herbert Cooties! Hey, wanna play doctor? Stay away from me! Oh, why is no one helping? Oh, why is no one helping? Hey nurse, can you examine this lump? Oh, God, I'd rather die. Oh, God, oh, God, why am I still alive? Damn it, still one channel open. I just need one more person, someone expendable. The 
ام ار اي ماشين اوبا دوس اتس ذات بيرفيد فروم نيكست دور وات از هي دوينج هير او ماي جاد فيميل اكس رايز اي انيون هاف ا تاول اي نيرس كان يو اكزامين ذس لامب اه اه ار يو ذا هيد نيرس او جاد اي راذر داي <laughs> Are you the head nurse? Oh god, I'd rather die. Oh god, oh god, why am I still alive? You got to make it stop, make it stop. Wait a sec. No, nope, just constant pain. Ah! Dr. Kaplan, a head needs shrinking in room 412. Dr. Kaplan, room 412. Oh! Hidden pornographic scene viewable by pressing up, up, down, down, left. Huh. Horny gamers believe anything. Sea breeze. Hey. Well, you smell <laughs> inseminated. I can't believe you're pregnant again. God, didn't you learn anything the last time? Would you like some water? A treat? Towel to bleed on? I knew it. Arrest this dog. He violated my restraining order and impregnated Seabreeze. What? No, I didn't. He's lying. And he's not Caucasian. Oh! I'm not the father, Joe. Unless you can prove that, Brian, we got to lock you up. Damn it, a speed bump. Who's the wise guy that put this speed bump here? It's not funny. Horowitz, I'm looking at you. Yeah, oh, yeah, laugh it up, guys. This is in poor taste. Okay, rule one for fugitives: don't let anyone see you. Shadows like martinis are your friends. Let's see. Dog meat. Dog meat over here. Yeah. Okay, rule one for fugitives: don't let anyone see you. Shadows like martinis are your friends. Let's see. Right at the steam pipe. Left past the Indian burial chamber. Hmm. Looks like Meg's room. Only more hopeful. What this place needs is a papasan chair. That's the second most disturbing thing I've ever seen. Hi, I'm Brian, and this is the first of my interactive non sequiturs. Play this successfully, and I'll turn invisible for a short period of time. Thanks for listening. Peekaboo! I see you. That's the second most disturbing thing I've ever seen. Hi, I'm Brian, and this is the first of my interactive non sequiturs. Play this successfully, and I'll turn invisible for a short period of time. Thanks for listening. God, I wish I knew what lies ahead. Stop running, you!
Why do we do these things to each other? You run faster than my stepdad. Do you want the prel or don't you? I got you, you're it. Do you want the prel or don't you? <laughs> I got you, you're it. After this, let's go grab a snack. Peekaboo, I see you. After this, let's go grab a snack. So the socioeconomic structure of the streets is what is responsible for our situation. Find out who the real father of Seabreeze's puppies is. I need some clues. Yikes! That's why the prisoner. This is part of the police file on Seabreeze. Jackpot! <laughs> that guy's compass just doesn't point north, you know? Never ask a rabbit for direction! That guard might be a problem. Maybe I can find something to distract him. Just switch this one over to the women's shower. That ought to keep them busy. Don't worry, I'm bigger. 10-4 on the canine. If I'm gonna find out who the real father of Seabreeze's puppies is, I need some clues. Yikes! That's why the prison. This is part of the police file on Seabreeze. Jackpot! That guy couldn't find his ass with a magnifying glass and a map. Ah! Vishnu hates me, that's what it is. That guard might be a problem. Maybe I can find something to distract him. Just switch this one over to the women's shower. That ought to keep him busy. Don't worry. I can make it hot for you. Woo-hoo-hoo! -hoo! Oh, yeah. Bet if I hid under this desk, they couldn't see me at all. Cabinet is that filed in again? Whose rules should I play by? Mm. Ah, heck, I'll just play by my own rules. Attention, all officers. Please remember to warm your hands before frisking perps. Thank you. Danny Glover do. 
Somebody stealing. Don't move, dirtbag. I bet if I hid under this desk, they couldn't see me at all. What would Danny Glover do? Which cabinet is that filed in again? should I play by? Mm. Ah, heck, I'll just play by my own rules. Huh? What would Danny Glover do? Attention all officers, please remember to warm your hands before frisking perps. Thank you. Hmm? Huh? Which cabin? Don't move, dirtbag. I bet if I hid under this desk, they couldn't see me at all. What would Danny Glover do? Hmm? cabinet is that filed in again? Somebody stealing my water. They're crafty, I'll tell you. It happens when you least expect it. Whose rules should I play by? Mm, ah, heck, I'll just play by my own rules. Now my ray gun does more damage. Soon, birds from your ovens shall come. Hey, son. Give me some help over here. The liposuction machines are leaking fat all over the place and I'm trapped in it. I need three machine parts to fix it. Get them for me and I'll be able to open the door for you. I can't stand on this blubber, but it makes for good sliding.
Oh, to be the Lindbergh baby right about now. I'm so glad to see the nurses have found something constructive to do with this mess. Look at all this love! Has Lois been cooking again? Ah! Oh, that's right. I went there. the workmanship I find better form piece Forecast for tomorrow a few sprinkles of genius with a chance of doom Oh, this place is lucky I'm saving my vengeance for Bertram. Material. Modern medicine indeed.
There's part three of the machine. Hooray and such. Thanks a lot, little guy. The door should be open now. Hey, Brad. How long before you think you end up in here? Oh, a long time. Unless I run into a... I wish I'd studied Shakespeare now, so I'd have something to quote before dying! Come on in, son. There's plenty of room. Ooh. You will see me again, Stewie Griffin! Because I got a few to pick up in the ICU. Dr. Smith to the ICU? Dr. Smith. Never mind. friend. Deb, I'll tell you what's Deb. Vaudeville. And this is the box they buried it in. Take me, for instance. Ow! Bam! Bam! the way out. 
The dead walk! Undead baby! Punch him in the head! Enough, I can lob grenades. As the fat man would say, freaking sweet, or what have you. Come on, you apes! Dress those lines! Maintain your interval! Bite my anus. Stab. to find a way to dispatch those nurses. Damn, I hate these last minute additions. How ironic. Angel of Mercy meets Angel of Death. Damn, I was gonna ask her out later. I don't remember her being on the list. Oh well, I don't want any trouble with the Union. What the hell's wrong with this thing? Come on, die already! Damn, I hate these last minute additions. Well, splendid! This calls for a sexy party! <laughs> Thanks to this pill, I shall have no trouble breathing inside the fat man's body. All right, let's get small. Lois? Lois? Oh, what the hell happened? All I remember is Mr. Belvedere was there, and, and I remember something whacking me in the head. Belvedere! That's it. Mr. Belvedere has kidnapped my family and for some reason wants me dead. Well, I'll have to destroy you first, you evil, crafty nanny, or, or, or butler, or, 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 or whatever kind of freaky thing you had going on there. <coughs> nice try, Belvedere. Thinks he could just take me out with one of his brainwashed henchmen disguised as a nurse. Well, it's gonna take a lot more than that to keep me from getting back Lois and Brian and Chris and Stewie and... And, uh... Oh, damn. Uh, I wanna say... I wanna say Russ? From the youngest child to the oldest nagging grandma.